Have you ever thought about how animals are doing during this time of the pandemic? Originally, I thought animals might fare better in this coronavirus era because it appears that there's no outbreak among them and they don't seem to need to do any precautions. Turns out though, after looking into the matter, the pandemic has far more negative impacts on animals than positive ones. Let's start with the good news. Pet adoption rates are up now, at least at the beginning of the pandemic. A lot of people want to adopt strays now because people have a high need of companionship while living with all these social distancing measures. For example, according to CNN, this organization, Paws Across the Pacific, have helped 600 dogs from overcrowded shelters in Hawaii be airlifted out for adoption. According to another Washington Post article, there has been an increased rate of adoption in and sales of dogs due to the pandemic. Joe Watson, CEO of Petland, says that demand for all pets was strong in May and June and continues thus far, which means that currently more and more animals are actually getting taken care of. Watson also says that it's good to know that at least 25% of the people who adopted dogs or cats during the coronavirus pandemic are willing to keep them permanently. As for wildlife animals, some of them are actually also benefiting. For example, CNN has reported that pink dolphins are returning to the har harbors in Hong Kong. These pink dolphins are extremely rare to find in the wild, and due to the ferry traffic being stopped, they have finally been able to find peace near these shores of Hong Kong. According to a website called Zoo Blue Diving, 60 million turtle eggs have been laid on empty beaches in India. Since people have been told to socially distance around wild animals to prevent, another, to, to prevent human to animal transmission, as well as another outbreak in humans, wild animals are now roaming free in the wild, or even in cities. To some extent, many social distancing measures have inadvertently helped free wild animals from human contact. In fact, one of the effects of the lockdown is to give Mother Nature a breathing space. On the other hand, some animals are not so lucky. Take the deer in Nara, Japan, for example. According to The Guardian, these deers have been negatively affected by the coronavirus pandemic because the deer in Nara are typically fed by tourists from all over the world with cookies which are meant to simulate real wildlife food. Now, without any tourists going to Nara, these years have resorted to eating trash out of dumpsters because they cannot eat normal grass anymore due to being too used to these cookies. There are many more reports coming from sources such as National Geographic concerning zoo animals or habituated animals that are deprived of the human care they need for survival. Some examples are the starving zoo animals in Indonesia, Sudan, Venezuela, and Iraq. Another problem with the disappearance of tourists and park rangers is that the quiet nature reserves become infested with poachers who kill wild animals and even endangered species for sport. Next is an even more tragic story. These are minks. They seem pretty cute, right? According to Bloomberg and NBC, a mutated strain of coronavirus have been found in minks, which led to more than a million of them being killed, and there was even a plan to kill 17 million more of them from the fur farms in Denmark. Besides animal slaughter, farm, animal, farm houses are actually being put in poor living conditions because slaughterhouses are being shut down and market demand is low during this era of the pandemic with this, with this lockdown and all this slow economy. Lacking human attention, livestock is malnourished along with living in filthy, with, along with living in filthy environments. Pandemic has exposed many horrific aspects of the ways humans treat animals. First, it appears that the current societal structures compels people to use animals for their own gain and turn their back on them as soon as they're not profitable to them. Second, when the world comes to a stop, illegal acts such as poaching are still rampant. This means that society has fulfilled to address the poaching problem in the first place. In conclusion, the pandemic alerts us to revisit problems we have regarding our relationship with animals and the approaches we take in preventing animal abuse and exploitation. Also, next time, when you buy any animal-based products, think of how animals were treated in the company which you bought them from and make the right decision. Thanks for listening to my Tech Talk.